Hello guys, this video will show how to use Plasticity as a place command. But real quick guys, I've got two new courses on Udemy. Ultimate Sci-Fi Soldier and Plasticity Modeling Guide. So guys, Plasticity 1.0 is now out. The program is pretty much at a good state. I like using this program guys, it's really fantastic. It's hands down the best 3D modeling program I've ever used. It's fantastic. And this guide will show you how to create this awesome uh, industrial mech. As for the Sci-Fi Soldier, I've got some really good ZBrush hard service scoping techniques and then a lot of 3ds Max clean topology. So you get the best of both worlds, guys. Really cool hard surface ZBrush techniques and then all the retopology process of the Max. All the Max videos are unsped up and the videos in ZBrush are a little bit sped up. So essentially, guys, the purpose of this one is not to overwhelm you with, with dozens of hours of content, but just to have really streamlined, just like the best of the best techniques for retopology and sculpting. So guys, check out those courses. Links are in the description. Let's continue. So it's important to understand, guys, a lot of commands that Plasticity can do are not available at the beginning, just visible here. They're available in this menu right here. You can also access it by pressing F for search. So if you're wondering where all the commands are, there's a lot of them right here that you can set to hotkeys by right clicking and then adding to favorites or assigning a shortcut. And the place is definitely one of those commands that you need to know about. So I'm gonna let you know in this video. So first I'm gonna create a corner box. And then you can press Alt to make it uh, corner center. And let's uh, move that up, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and just do a just do a chamfer right there. All right, so this is the box where we'll be uh, applying, applying details to. We're placing objects on there. So what are we going to place? Well, let's make a cool little uh, detail here. So I'll make a sphere there. Actually, let's go ahead and place it on here. All right. Yeah, I'm going to shift A to create a line right there. And I'm going to go ahead and select this. C, select that, right click. All right, so this will be the line. I will select this, press E, and then uh, extrude. We're going to create this cool little uh, pill shape detail. Select this, Alt X, select that surface. Q for merge halves together, right click. So we got this cool little pill shape here. We're now going to R for rotate. Z and we're going to hold down control and we're going to 45 degree angle here. We're going to go ahead and press uh, shift D. We're going to go ahead and R for rotate Z and then hold control to get 90 degrees. All right. So then we can, I think, select this and all right. So anyways, now what we can do is let's see, create another line here. Actually, this is good enough. We can we can just use this right here. So we're going to go ahead and select both of these objects. We're going to go ahead and press F and find place, which I think by default is set to Control D. So I'm going to go ahead and press Control D. And so now you are choosing where you're going to uh, work with this. I'm going to use the center right here. All right. As you can see, we are now placing this right over here. So I'm going to put that right there. Center that. All right. So now we need to do a, an offset right there. All right. And so we can also press W for difference. All right, we can uh, right click that. Or if we, if we want to be a, a new body, for example, we'll uh, press B or Q for union or slice or intersect. So once you got that we want it to be, you right click and bam, right there, guys, it's been added and you're ready for your next detail. So I can put that right there. This time I will use uh, Q for union and I'll right click and bam, we're still going here, guys. So now I got here, press S for scale. All right. That's there. Place that right there. So you can also just kind of place things as well. So right click, you can press A to switch the angle around. All right. Then you can press to escape to exit out of that mode. And as you can see guys, just like that, we've put a bunch of objects right here. We can now go in here and quickly begin to uh, fill the things out. And notice how it even uh, is able to fill it past this right here. So that's really cool. So I very much like making videos on plasticity, guys, because it, it just works. You know, when I'm making videos on the programs, the program can like uh, have some some errors and things like that. But with plasticity here, it's pretty much smooth sailing. I mean, obviously, you know, 
it's got limitations because all programs have limitations, but like I can pretty much do a lot of things with plasticity and get away with it, which I'm not able to do in other programs. You know, it's a uh, it's hard to find plasticity's limits. So I hope you guys enjoy plasticity. I hope you enjoy the place tool. And that's how you use it. Thank you for watching and take care.